Hello and welcome. My name is Kevin. This is Dude for Bruce. We're here in Crusade Kings 3 once more for our world domination campaign. Today, we start off with a bang because a uh, little old Pope man has decided that we are in need of a spanking. Uh, right now, we have a crusade for the Kingdom of Italy. Um, as of now, we are technically in the lead, um, but I think more people are going to be joining us, uh, joining their side as well as our side. So the numbers aren't fully there yet. Oh, this 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 crusade could come at no worse of a time, but you know that's that's. That's part of it. Um, thankfully, I think a lot of our vassals will join um, our side of it. Uh, because usually that's what happens when they are a smaller faith. They Most everybody joins. The other thing I thought about during the break is when the Pope is unlanded, where does he spawn his troops? He has no current lands. So is he going to spawn in some random area? Is he going to even be able to have troops? Will we see him? Like right now, if I go and say, where does he live? It says he does not live anywhere. Hitch in our step because now we have to defend against this little incursion real quick, like, uh, which I was really actually hoping for um, just time to get our, uh, a lot of our army back together, but we'll see. This might make or break the campaign right here. Um, just because this it's not a complete loss if it happens. It's just really unfortunate. Um, but like I said, we just need to hold out long enough for ticking war score to get us uh, through. Just not let any of the Crusaders bunch up too much. Um, but yeah. Concern is high. I love how this very like jaunty music is playing right now while I'm... Uh, I'm probably right now guys. I'm I'm hitting about an eight or nine stress level uh, for this experience <sighs> Okay The thing is we can win this we can win this is just gonna take time and time that I don't really want to spend so maybe We do something super drastic just to be wild um, so our guy we go ahead and grant him the title of can we get rid of this you cannot grant the faith title okay so we cannot get rid of the the title we have so never mind my plan is uh worthless there's a big fight hopefully they just keep piling in that would be my hope so that they just keep slowly piling in and all my troops just kill them that would be the dream now let's go back up here I like how everybody's troops is just dying now. It's just too many troops, too little time. Um, what we really need to do is not let them take any more land. I keep saying that over and over again, but it is actually what... So, like, if my armies could, like, not all come together and fight for one thing... Lord. All right. Crusade for Italy is over. Oh my god. We did it, boys and girls. We did it. 6 years of that. Oh my god. Like I said, that was a make or break kind of point. Um it's not like the last big hurdle we're going to have, but it was one of the major hurdles that I was afraid of. Empty throne. I'm going to keep getting that event because uh your boy's not good at being a king when he's at war. Uh, I can understand why um, kings of yore were really bad at being kings when there was a war on, because you logistically have to be somewhere doing fighting that war constantly. Um, I should probably have not sponsored this. This lady's in fine health, but she's 65, but she's probably going to die. Um, let's go with bring me trinkets and materials that cannot be found. Bring me some exotic animals skill high or artwork i trust in your decision making this this 65 year old biddy you think we can trust her she's a drunk no way she's it says honorable adventurer but that's just a fancy title everybody else continue to did i not oh that was somebody else that was not our drunk lunch somebody else got died before their 
uh, usefulness was fulfilled. Let's get this. Let's get all these last little counties. And if worst comes to worst, we just take all this except for Southern Bur Burgundy. Uh, we'll be fine. I'll be happy with that. Um, I'm not sure what the French or Frankians are doing with their horde. I think they're just hanging out. <laughs> they're going to rest on their laurels and end up being England. All right, let's just call it. Uh, I take our winnings and go. Sweet. Now Frankia is likely to fall apart. Um, but now here comes the hard pill to swallow. It's... Um, let's go ahead and usurp this title. Oh, it actually turned the... F turn the tide in our favor. <laughs> you gain the athletic trait? This boy is going to live to like 78. No doubt. Ooh. I was talking mad shit at the beginning of this when this lady went on her first adventure because I was like, she's a drunken wench. She's not going to be able to find anything. And then she comes back with this heavy hitter. Unfortunately, we are not Jewish. We're not Christian. We're not Muslim. So it doesn't really help us out, which is... I feel like the fact that the King Solomon's throne is my throne should be good enough, but it is done. Force. We have moved now more lands to be added to our empire. Great, great, great. Ooh, this guy's got quite the arm on him. Windmills and gold mines and are strong, loyal vassals worthy descending in all the cast souls. Byzantines lose the prestige they bring. These are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> oh, damn. Chief Volk Bolslav of Slovakin's High Council of Soul has finally been cast to Nawia. He died. He drank himself to death at 84. Alright, that's rude. His son takes a thing. He'll probably also drink himself to death. Alright. Start off with a banger and just say screw you, Mr. Pope Man. Let the Vatican burn. So now the Pope has been um, sent to be out of here. Um, we can invite him to our court. Good riddance. Haha. <laughs> we'll negotiate release. Banish. We'll get the Papal Tiara, which gives us prestige. We'll get some armor, and we'll get the Pope's brooch. So bye-bye. I'll take the big one. Always a battle axe. Don't get me wrong, I love streaming six hours a day, but sometimes you need to do some other things. Right. There's that, and for whatever reason, we have a constant sound of fire happening right now. This is another bug, I think, that happens, where just fire is burning for ages upon ages. All right, cool. Let's look at our... We have some cash. Let's look at our... Um, men at arms units. I don't think we've been using them properly lately. Uh, we have two different pike. I would say we don't need that much pike. Uh, I'd rather have um, more trebuchets. Uh, we can get those in. Yeah, it's a good W right there. How much prestige do we get that from that? 358? Mm, it's perfect. You love to see that mount. Took Denmark. Great. Um, actually, this is another prime example. We can just go ahead and usurp this from some derp. Um, go ahead and grant. Or no, we'll go like this. We'll go this. Grant to. Um, let's go say some of skills. So now that the. Oh, that's not good. Um, who is this child? Yeah, they could be diligent. Uh, now that we're out of the woods when it comes to the Pope. The next big hurdle is either some empire that I have not interacted with yet or the the Mongols once they pop out, which would kind of be funny to get out here before the Mongols show up and take all this land. Just expand super quickly this way. Take this land, and as soon as the Mongols show up... Um, but it would also kind of be good if they consolidated a lot of this so that I could come through. Like I thought, we could get out of this war. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Can we go ahead and demand this guy's conversion and all these guys' conversions? I wonder if the Muslims will do a jihad against us. 
We don't have any of their lands just yet, but it'd be interesting to see if they... Or Mulwadi, maybe? No, these, these all... They're all Ashuri over here. I think we do it. We declare our kingdom invasion for uh, England, but we really just take these last couple provinces down here. Um, it's going to give us the most uh, bang for our buck, I think. Got it. All you do as, stream as a streamer is you just kind of speak in idioms all the time because your brain doesn't know what, what to do other than speak in those idioms. I'm like in a fugue state half the time over here. <laughs> what are you guys doing? AI, when they're doing this kind of stuff, it's like, why are you, like, what are you, what are we accomplishing up here? You're just out here all trying to siege these things down. It's great, but like, you're not doing much, but running around and causing nobody that much headache. Especially because if you take all this land, it's not going to ever be worth anything. Especially because I'm taking... I'm almost at the war score. I think trebuchets are giving us a huge leg up. Do you see this? Point, 0.8 point a day. So, like, we can pretty much almost instantly siege now. We're getting close to at least. Uh, that means we can probably get close to taking down Constantinople without any fuss. And then look at the wider picture for now. So, our papacy is done done and over with we pretty much owned most of europe uh, we just need to consolidate iberia i think that's the really only big thorn in our side the big players left are these the shaban which is the egyptian kingdom plus the byzantines those are the most powerful nations there probably are some powerful dudes and doodads over here but for the most part everybody is manageable size so I would say Al-Andalus, Sabar, Byzantine Empire are the last real strong enemies that we have. Obviously, the Mongols, whenever they show up, we're going to have problems with them. Um, so why don't we look at succession, too? Um, it's this boy. He's going to be in charge. Why are you going to be in charge? Because you are. Because, like, yeah, this is going to pop. Let's just... What we should do is... How strong is this? We're going to... We're gonna do a two front kind of situation. We'll take this land. If you'd lived in IRL, CK3, 86 start map, which place would you be? Fuck, dude. Think is The thing is about the year 867 is that it's just like, it's just shitty everywhere. There's no good times, especially if you come in with the prior knowledge of the modern era. Um, it's, it's just bad times all around. Nobody's having fun. Just plague and destruction and death all abound um but if you were to have to twist my arm it'd probably be somewhere in like the Medi mediterranean just because like shit seems like though it's like rough somewhere warm probably like in the byzantine empire in the, on the in the like a g and z would be sick i'd probably go for temperature because like there's no such thing as like warm clothing or nice clothing you know so it's like all um, or there's not like as nice of clothing, um, compared to we have for the winter months here. Uh, it's a feline companion. We get a random cat. And of course, that's a great way to probably end this stream. We get a cat. We'll name him Bruce. Little B, big R-U-C, E. Destroyed the papacy. We've really expanded quickly we took over the rest of um southern france here we took some of iberia rest of italy is now ours we're working our way into the british isles those should be tuned up soon we're trying to have a son with this lady so that we can make a murder son who that then kills off these bad guys who are really powerful because i could see us fighting these people and having a a good go of it but it it's just better to you know when in doubt murder your way to success as i always say have a good rest of your day ciao